Hi everyone, welcome to JS and RS Solutions. I hope you are doing well. Today we are going to demonstrate how to download climate data and uh, process it in Excel for further analysis. From this website, you can access uh, various climate data like uh, cloud cover, relative humidity, temperature, pressure, uh, precipitation, wind speed, wind direction, and more. Uh, interestingly, uh, you can find uh, processed data on an hourly basis for uh, 24 hours throughout each month from uh, 1940 to the present. Um, this data can be used for different purposes uh, such as uh, creating windrows diagrams uh, using WR plot view, uh, conducting air quality analysis in air mode view software and uh, several other applications and analysis. I hope uh, this tutorial will be uh, helpful for you. Go to the website. I will uh, give the link uh, in the description uh, section. Here you will get uh, data sets. And you can see here uh, product type, climate uh, indices, climate projection, in situ observations, reanalysis, satellite observation, seasonal uh, forecast, various uh, variable domain, special coverage, Europe or global, temporal coverage, sector in, uh, and so other. And also you will find uh, the providers, I mean for citations purposes and also in applications and here you will find several data sets so i'm writing era5 and then search and you will find here different kind of uh, data so i'm going to uh, click here hourly data from 1942 present uh, hourly data on single levels from 1942 present so f here you can see uh, this is a global climate weather for past eight decades you'll find uh, details here Uh, publications date resource updated reference for citation click download data and just select product type reanalysis and variable uh, which data you needed total precipitation I have selected uh, total precipitation surface temp pressure temperature and two meter temperature surface pressure uh, wind clouds total cloud cover high cloud you can uh, select that you need also you will find uh, data on lakes evaporation and runoff precipitation and rain uh, I have already selected total uh, precipitation precipitation type uh, snow you will find uh, several uh, data type here soil soil type vertical uh, integrals vegetation ocean waves and others you have to select a year uh, which year uh, you need so I have selected 23 I need data for 23 and uh, you have to select the month so I'm selecting uh, August and also day 30 days data and hourly data 00 to 23 I mean 24 hours uh, data and also you have to select a uh, geographical look area or uh, you can select whole available region or you can uh, uh, you can uh, select sub region extraction so in that case you have to uh, put here a GPS I mean coordinates So I'm writing uh, coordinates for my location.
west uh, 134 east 134.12 and after that uh, format so select uh, nets cdf format and terms of license accept the terms of li use license to use uh, copernicus products and after that uh, click submit form after selecting all uh, click uh, submit form and your data uh, download will be starting then <coughs> so data download has been started it is in progress data uh, yeah has been downloaded already so click here download and also I will download another data sets again I'm writing ERA 5 and then go to here uh, hourly data on pressure level I mean humidity and others so you have to select product type to analysis relative humidity temperature and also pressure level select all first to last and also select a year uh, I'm selecting August as I need the data for August and also day 1 to uh, 30 and uh, time 24 hours so I have uh, selected 24 hours and uh, write here uh, your coordinate system and after that uh, click uh, net cdf format and uh, click uh, submit form and the download has been started and after that uh, you, you, you can see here uh, the data has been uh, downloaded so uh, to view this data uh, you, you need uh, you need uh, panopoly software and also you need uh, javascript in your uh, pc so i have downloaded uh, already uh, this software and also java so to download this software you have to uh, go to this website and download this software so uh, you can see here panopoly requires a computer with java uh, installed so you have to uh, also download javascript so uh, after uh, downloading panopoly and then uh, click open uh, on this and here uh, you can open the data net cdf format and then click open you can see over here uh, the data that, that I have downloaded total precipitation surface pressure temperature uh, cloud cover and so on right click and then you can also uh, export CSV file from directly here yeah CSV uh, has been exported uh, from the file you can see the data that I have downloaded 24 hours data I mean hourly data again go to the Panopoly uh, software and you can also uh, create a plot you, I, I mean you can uh, extract directly from here just select line plots using and then uh, uh, vertical and uh, create so you can see here the graph from here uh, click here and you may copy uh, this data and paste in the excel this is the, the direct process uh, to get the data from uh, here just copy and then paste to excel yep <coughs> 24 hours data 
and 30 days data total similarly you can uh, extract uh, other uh, data that i have downloaded total precipitation just right click and uh, create plot and line plot using then vertical then create and from here uh, as before i'm also uh, data format just uh, percentage and yeah editor and you may uh, copy this data and paste into the excel precipitation data you can see over here like this uh, you may extract other data as well uh, total cloud cover vertical and uh, create and array and copy and after copying then uh, paste into the excel file cloud cover humidity wind uh, direction wind pressure you will find uh, all data sets are from this website hourly monthly that you need this is the pressure level data i mean uh, relative humidity temperature and so on go to file and then open and then uh, yep select the file let's df and open you may, uh, you may see here uh, pressure level relative humidity temperature and similarly uh, you have to select vertical line plotting and then array and then uh, copy this data into and paste into excel thank you for watching uh, see you in the next tutorial till then stay safe and healthy